Hi there, it's Sarah Oplex Spiker, and I am excited to come to you today with a live stream that I'm also going to share to um, a couple of um, different places here. Um, I want to talk to you about if you're a CEO, team leader, business owner who has a team that has the routine interrupted the work environment disrupted um, and you are trying to empower your team members your employees your um, staff to really not only maintain their high energy productivity efficiency but increase it because it is possible and i want to share with you how to do that what um what qualifies me in case you're wondering um I have been in this online space for nearly a decade. I started my own company um, in 2011. And uh, ever since then, I have been consulting and coaching and mentoring business owners who some of them were flying solo. Some of them had a full time employees. Some of them had virtual teams and pretty much anything in between while I was also building my own. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you about right now does not necessarily go with the logistics and the technology that I addressed in a couple of different posts and uh, videos that I'm more than happy to share with you if you um, want to, or you can go through my online presence, LinkedIn and Facebook and my website and find those resources. What I wanted to focus to you um, on today is actually the mindset piece behind it, because let's be honest, somebody like myself and my team and my clients, we have chosen to work online to create, co-create with our clients, support our clients remotely. We chose that. We adapted. We had time to learn the ropes, to learn how to navigate it all. We have time to, um, we had time to get comfortable with all the tools and be there with all the changes in the technology that has been made available in the years since. But when a reality is happening all around us, when schools are closing down, when businesses are closing down, when teams are being told to go home and work remotely, a lot can change for somebody who has never planned for that. And overnight, everything is turned upside down. So the reason I want to talk to you about it, because it does affect you as a business. It does affect you as an organization. It does affect you and your ability to not only serve your clients, but let's say you're a media company and um, you have viewers. They need to be able to have that confidence in you and your team need to be able to avoid making any costly mistakes that might be affecting not just the ratings, but also the... Um, your advertisers to continue working with you because this is one of your streams, revenue streams, right? So the implications can be really high. The tensions can be really high right now. Um, not only dealing with this new um, dynamic when people can be either paralyzed in fear, they can be paralyzed with all the negativity, they can be paralyzed in self-doubt, they can be simply paralyzed in the fact that for the first time ever, they will be in their own environment with their their own thoughts, with no one else to collaborate, to communicate, to socialize with. And that definitely can be quite scary. So one of the things that, you know, I have experienced over those years when I was supporting my own clients and building my own team is what I want to share with you right now. And like I said, it is the mindset piece and the mindset piece in how you support your team. Being alone in your own environment can be a distraction enough when you certainly are giving this so-called freedom to work from home. But it can also be very scary because all of a sudden you don't have to clock in and clock out at a certain, a certain time. You don't have somebody to hold you accountable for things. Um, and you certainly don't have the community to rely on to go to the uh, cooler or to the ki to the kitchenette and communicate with your um, staff, with your team, with your um, uh, colleagues. It can be quite isolating. Now, if you're a parent, like I have two little ones at home and my husband works for a large company and I can witness firsthand what they are going through in preparing their remote working environment 
and um, adjusting the technology, dealing with the logistics, um, working the back end to be able to continue having this open communication with the team members, with the superiors, um, and so on and so forth. It is a lot. It is a lot. Now, when your team members, again, are faced with this reality, when all of a sudden all they have to do is to show up in their own home, um, at their own computers, log into the system, and now all of a sudden collaborate and communicate and co-create, it can be scary. Now, like I said, as a mom, there's also another thing that I have been experiencing. Schools are closing down. Daycares are closing down. So the responsibility of homeschooling is now also added to our plates. And we don't have the typical support system. You know, <laughs> with the current reality, you can just call somebody to come over to your home and help you with babysitting, to help you with cleaning, because we are to practice social distancing. Uh, we don't have just grandparents to rely on because they can be, they're the um, population that is the most at risk. So we are pretty much, a lot of us, left our own devices. But like I said, I have been in this dynamic. I It's my chosen environment. And I had the time to adapt. I had the time to master the tools. I had the time to really um, be with myself and work through my own mentality, right? To create the mental, emotional, physical, energetic space that supports me. Somebody who has been just thrown in it does not. And that's where you are coming in as a CEO, as a executive as a team leader as a business owner it is on you and i urge you and i invite you from the bottom of my heart to really look into opportunities to look into possibilities to provide that to your team mental support you know, it can be something as simple as empowering your employees to help them gain the clarity, to help them gain the confidence that they can not only perform, but outperform, um, that they can increase their productivity. When you empower them and you give them the freedom, it is it can be a great benefit to your company. And I'm going to tell you how. So... I have to actually really tap back because it's been quite a while since I was in somebody else's office building somebody else's dreams. But I do remember how constraining it felt for me when I had to be in the office at a certain time and I had to stay up at a certain time. My productivity was really suffering, even though you think the eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, sometimes oh, so many days, right? So, I mean, so much time available, but not necessarily. I felt the most empowered when I had the privilege and the opportunity to work from home when whatever was assigned, I knew how I was going to deliver. I could work around my own schedule and other responsibilities, childcare, homeschooling, by the way. Um, and I was empowered to create those. When my team, my superiors knew that the things are going to be delivered, not just on time, but above the expectations. And I was able to call the shots. That was really, really empowering. Now, I understand that not everybody on your team has this capacity, has this ability, has this willingness. And this is where you come in in providing them the guidance, providing them the support, providing them the coaching that they need, which by the way, is something that one of my programs is geared towards. And we can talk about it later. If you have the interest, we can talk about how that applies to you. So then the next level of support is the emotional support. And like I said, it's the same thing uh, uh, very similar to the mental one, is access to the experts. Um, it's access to the colleagues. It's access to whatever each and every one of us needs to be emotionally at our best. Because right now, the fear and anxiety that are surrounding us are scary enough. <laughs> and they put enough pressure on us as is. So really creating the space and opportunities for your team to have somebody for emotional support is going to be the key and the long-term benefit. And then the physical uh, support. And wh what I mean by physical support, it can really vary depending on your industry, depending on your company, depending on your organization, depending on your mission, depending on your um, processes and procedures and uh, what is it you already are doing and how are you moving those 
all of those elements online. So here we're talking about the logistics, we're talking about the communication, we're talking about the technology, the equipment, the compatibility, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. The more you can take off your um, team's shoulders and really allow them to focus on whatever they need to do, the more empowered they will feel to not only deliver what is expected, but to really contribute, to provide the feedback, to offer suggestions, because now they're experiencing firsthand something that can really help improve everybody else's dynamic. But they need to feel safe and they need to feel heard to able to be able to do that. And they need to feel validated in able to be able to do that in order to be able to do that. So um, we were talking about mental, emotional, physical support. Now, what about the energetic support? I was just on a call with my own mentor, actually, and we were talking about the power of music and the power of the sound and how fun it would be, you know, when you don't have the ability to bring the people in the kitchenette or in a conference room to collaborate. Well, well maybe, you know, building a playlist, maybe um, building some kind of a challenge or competition between different departments, something that really takes the mind off the current stress and current reality and it creates a space where they can really get energized and uh, bring all the positivity and the music can do that. So building a playlist, sharing the playlists, you know, something as simple as that uh, can really do wonders. Um, so when we're talking about, you know, all of this is a conglomerate. Yes, it is a lot to process. It is a lot to manage. It is a lot to not just manage, but also to strategize behind because, you know, one of the greatest setbacks that most of the companies are facing right now is the fact that they have been satisfied with the status quo, that they have been operating in a certain way for many, 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 many years, not foreseeing anything like this ever happening so they're really scrambling right now and um, it's affecting their productivity it's affecting their efficiency it's affecting their ability to serve their clients their customers uh, their audience and all of those things are going to have long-term implications now it might sound as counter intuitive to take the time and sit back and really focus on figuring out the next steps but it is the foundation that is going to allow you and your organization to um, get through this, not just navigate it as smoothly as possible, but to thrive in the long run. Because you are now shifting the way things are being done. You're shifting the old paradigms. You're shifting the old... Um, what is the word that I'm trying to find? <laughs> the old models. And it does take a lot of energy. It takes a different focus. It takes different amount of time and uh, intention. You really have to be intentional in the next following steps that you're going to be taking. Because like I said, it is not just about you. It's also about your team. And as already most of people, the stress, we are not immune to stress. It takes incredible amount of self-awareness and self-mastery to be able to tune that out. And as entrepreneurs, some of us who have been playing this game for a long, long, long time, we have been intentional about it over the years. We have built our own support system. We have developed our own systems. We have um, mastered the technology and we have mastered our own minds and are still working on it consistently. So this is gonna be the pivoting point in your own development, not just the business and team building, but development and leadership moving forward in how you're responding and how proactive you are in providing all of those resources to your team, um, empowering them and enabling them to not only maintain their positive outlook their effectiveness, their efficiency, their productivity, but to increase it. So if this is something that you believe your team could really benefit from, that your organization could benefit from, like I said, um, I'm more than happy to set up a conversation with you and go over the details and your vision and your mission and see how I might be able to support you. We work remotely. Um, 
even in the one of our programs, it's called Intentional Impact Program Global Experience, when a part of the program is a destination retreat, even that is not immediate uh, modality that we address. But we work remotely and I can re work with you as CEO, I can work with your leadership and I can work with your key employees, key team members, key staff, um, virtual team members to really help you not only navigate those waters, but rebuild the foundation that is going to serve you and allow you to continuously thrive for years to come. So my invitation to you is simple reach out let's have a conversation and see how we can make that happen until then here's to your success expansion and peace of mind